Welcome to our few moments together on the Pasha. This Shabbos, we have the privilege of reading Pasha's Chaye Sora, the Pasha of the life of Sora, which, of course, Sora is not alive at any point in it. In the second Pasuk of the Pasha, the Torah tells us that Thomas Sora Bekiryas Arba, that Sora died in Kiryat Arba, he Chevron, which was known also as Chevron, Be'eretz Canaan, in the land of Canaan. So there are two names here. There was one named Kiryat Arba and one named Chevron. And to this day, the cities of Kiryat Arba and Chevron are adjacent to each other. It's all part of the overriding city of Chevron. If you take a look at the Rashi, he wants to understand why was it called Kiryat Arba. And the Rashi says, Al Shem Arba Anakam Shahayusham, because of the four giants that lived there. That's how the name Kiryat Arba came about. He offers a second explanation because of the four pairs of our forefathers that were buried there, referring to Adam and Chava, that's two, and then Avram and Sarah, and then Yitzchak and Rivka, and Yaakov and Leah. So that's the second answer. But the first answer is because of the four giants that were there. And notice, until Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov and their wives were buried there, it wasn't known as Hebron. It was known only as Kiryat Arba because of the giants. The Malbim, later on, in the Sedja, Ayan, Pasuk, Yud, Tes, makes a very crucial comment. And I'll read it to you. He says, The original name of the city was Kiryat Arba because of the four giants that lived there. The Avraham Shino Shmo. And Avraham changed the name Likro Beshem Chevron. And Avram changed the name from Kiryat Arba to Chevron Al Sheshom Yishabru Hazugos. Because there, the four pairs, and especially the three pairs of our forefathers, Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and their wives, Haneimim Bechayehem, who were so pleasant in their lives, and in their death, they were never separated. So the name Hebron comes from the word Chover and Chibur, joined together. The city, the overriding city, of course, is known as Hebron because it, jo- it joined together the husbands and wives in eternal repose because the teaching of the Jewish people is that the love and the concern of a husband and a wife, Hane'imen b'chayehem, who were so pleasant to each other and with each other in their lives, and that their lives were so pleasant for all of Jewish history, uvemosam lo nefrodo, they never separated and never had any quarrel but they were attached, Chiber, Chevron. They were joined together. And so the city's name, Chevron, is crucial for us to appreciate. And that the name of the city is, in fact, Chevron, with Kiryat Arba being another part of the overriding city of Chevron, which is one of the four very basic cities of the holy Jewish people and in fact is known as a holy city. Hebron is a very contentious place in today's day and age, but that's because we're in Golis and we haven't yet achieved the ultimate goal of coming back fully to Eretz Yisrael. But in Yetz Hashem, in time to come, Hebron is once once again going to bind together and make Haverim, of all the Jewish people and all of their forefathers because we are
the kinds of people who have a responsibility to be ni'imim b'chayehem, pleasant when we're alive, uvamosam lo nefroda, we never separate from each other or from Hashem who binds our souls together. So the names of the people and the cities are crucial for us. And as we are mevorchem chodesh kislev this Shabbos, let us try to keep in mind how our forefathers left such pleasant teachings and memories for Klai Yisrael because they called the city Hebron. Shabbat Shalom, Umevarach, and a good Chodesh to all.